What's up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator. Today I'm in beautiful California with my friend right here, flying a drone. So tell us, Jordan, how long have you been operating? Uh, this, I've been operating for about four, four and a half years now. Wow. Yeah, four and a half years for the M600s? Uh, not with the M600, it hasn't been out quite that long. Yeah. But, uh, we've been flying since the first first Phantoms from DJI. And yeah, yeah. Been taking it up up and up ever since. Oh. So right now we are in the beautiful... Uh, where are we right now? We're in Santa Clarita Valley at Prestate Lake. Santa Clarita Valley at Prestate State. Yep. What's your name again? My name's Allison. Allison. Yep. I work with Jordan on the drones. I'm a nice. drone specialist. So both are drone specialists. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fun job. Yeah. It's a fun and expensive job. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the view we have right now. So hopefully you can capture everything in 360. Dude. What's up, Devin? We're gonna do some uh, flying soon with the uh, radiant. Not radiant. Excuse me. We're gonna do some flying here with the Zcam S1 okay. on the 360. Most goofy 360 air. But shall we continue down here? Because I think we have some yeah. questions. So we are flying drone with style. Yeah. Look at oh, that yeah. bomber jacket. It's awesome. <laughs> I need the... So usually how long do it take you to set up the M600s? Um, actually, usually a lot quicker than this. I'm just doing, I'm getting a screw because we had a screw strip out, so I'm replacing oh. the one. So the leg maintenance. doesn't fall off. Yeah, just doing oh. a quick check real quick. Yes, that's important. Yep. yep. Because the thing <laughs> flying up the sky is pretty expensive as well. Yeah, because if we take off and that thing's over the lake and this drops into the water, uh -oh. it's not <laughs> so That's why you're hiring a professional to do it. That's right. I always double check everything. Pre-flight check. Mm. Check all the motors, check all the connections. You got that, Ali? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, that seven was what I needed. Is it a GoPro on top of it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that can be our, our FPV camera, or you can flip it up and we use it as like the top plate for the 360. Oh, so you use it to monitor where the drone go? Yeah, mm -hmm. I just don't have two. I just don't have two right now. So what I'll probably do is we'll keep it close to us because I'm not gonna be flying FPV. I'm just gonna be line of sight, and we'll use that as the top plate. What's for, FPV? Uh, first person view. First person yeah, view. So yeah, so I would be able to see it. So this would usually be my FPV cam, like my pilot cam, and that's uh -huh. what I'll fly by. Okay. So. And using our app to just see the way you go. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, it all app? runs through the light bridge, and it runs it right back to the app on your phone or your tablet, whatever you're using. So, uh, so guys, that's the tips. Yep. So M600 have no eye to see where to go, so we need a camera on top of it. On setup. Wow. This camera, you just. A lot of customization, huh? Yeah, yes, sir. So tell me this little white thing you built is a stand, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's just a landing platform to get it up off the air. I mean, it's not, it's not perfect by any means right now. It's still in the early stages. See, it rocks a little bit. We're going to drop these sections down so uh -huh. it sits a little more flush in here. But once you get the props going, it, it, it straightens itself out. It's easy to just give it give it throttle and get it up in the air, but so we can hang those VR cameras really low below there. Nice. Yes, we need that. And that's a battery, huh? Yeah, yeah. There's six six of these batteries on board. Six. Yep. six how seven. long? How long? How's the flying time if six of them? Oh my god! Um, if we're if we're gonna be doing the payload we're looking at today, we're probably gonna be around the 12 to 15 minute range. So uh -huh. don't long. get a lot of flight time, <laughs> but oh. David, how long? Five minutes? Uh, about uh, about 12 to 15 minutes for the payload 15. we're looking at. You can go a little lighter if you're just going, uh, say, the Insta Pro off a rod. Uh -huh. It'll get a little bit more time because that's quite a bit lighter. Wait, the Z Cam is lighter though, right? The Z Cam is, but what we're going to be using, we're going to be using that gimbal with the counterweights, so it adds uh, quite a bit of weight to it. Have you ever fired just the uh, Insta on the air? Yeah, yeah, we have. Oh, nice. With a rigid rod, so I mean, that, you know. Stabilization is amazing, but you can definitely 
stabilize it in post as well. But okay. It makes the job a hell of a lot easier if you can stabilize it beforehand, you know, so. Mm. Maybe we should try to compare footage with, yeah, the, with the gimbal and then with the Insta. I, I had the rod too, so we're gonna connect well, that. This has got that in camera stabilization as well, so that, that definitely helps on that camera unit. So. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna stabilize in Mocha because I'm a Mocha specialist. Oh, very oh, perfect. Cool. So do you guys have an insurance line? Any tip for the audience? Like, you need to get a drone insurance? Um, we get drone liability insurance. Like, we're when we're out here, we don't really, because I'm not really worried about running into a mountain or anything. I mean, it would hurt our gear, but it won't hurt anybody else. But if you're in a place where there's other people around, or there's like houses or businesses, I would definitely at least get liability insurance. Liability insurance. Yeah. And how much is that per day? It depends. You can get, um, you can get daily policies with a company called Verify, and they're Verify. pretty good. So that's like what he sees from his front camera. Oh, with the GoPro. Mm-hmm. Is it a special app? This? No, it's just the DJI Go app. Oh. <laughs> so why now Jordan is flipping the top GoPro point in the sky so we have to use that as a stitch to stitch the drone out on the, on the air so that's one of the tips you can have uh, but again since we only have one GoPro so we might need to fly blind but it should be alright because Jordan is very 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 experienced drone operator so so now Devin gonna put the Z cam on top of the Devin what, what gimbal is that? This is the uh, Guru 360 Air and this is one of our first prototypes here so and we're just gonna invert it here so we can put it on the drone but we have a new firmware that will let us invert them starting but I don't have that yet but uh So Jordan, what is that thing? This thing so cool? we just have it on a ball mount. Um, a ball mount. Makes it easier to kind of line it up for us. safety chain this guy so in case anything happens this wants to pull apart from any section here then it's gonna be solid and it'll be hanging off <laughs> but it won't drop so we'll save a camera we'll save a gimbal yeah and out of good tips that's how you save your camera and the gimbal with the safety cable right there So now we have the power cable. We got a power. So are we power from the the drone battery? So what we have, we have a Sony uh, NP battery up here, a BP battery. Sorry. Um, and we're just running P tap off of it from a P tap plate. And we have a P tap to tip five cable running into the camera. Mm -hmm. And that's what's gonna power your Z cam. And the Z cam is a 12 volt or? Yes, I believe so. So it goes straight out from the Sony camera directly yep. into the Z cam. Wrap a little view up. There. Up a little bit and then give it that slug. You can wrap it like around okay. if you want to. Round and round. So have like get it The anchored. sun is setting yeah. right now. Wow, it's actually really pretty. It's a nice sky. Let's give it sun. Does it hang out? No, it's not useless. That is 
right. So right now we gotta connect the laptop yeah, to the Z cam. Check setting. So why would we need to do that? Um, we're just gonna check camera settings and make sure we're exposed properly. So we're out here <laughs> doing it for a reason. You know? Yeah. <laughs> we're not just gonna get up and shoot. So we're gonna make sure we get some good footage good to tips, show guys. all of you guys. Sync the top GoPro in the oh, bottom of the Z cam. Can we talk to? Is it good enough? Does it record audio? You might be able to sync it through our ours. I mean, you, you might be able to clap it. It's just easier if you have a white image on both, you know, on both frames. Yeah. I'll need it over here, like right here on this side. When, once I start rolling, ready? I'll give you a cue. <laughs> Alright, good. Good to go? Yep. Hey, three, two, one, we're counting out. I don't think the flash right, is working. Try it. Here. Right, we're just gonna give it a clap. Right. Ready now. And a clap just too. In case. Oh. Right. So we clap, we sing the audios. Now we need to get some space. That's it, we successfully landed the drone. So hopefully we'll check the footage in post and see how it looks like. And again, please tell our audience what's your name? Uh, you Jordan Galloway. And uh, I've been meeting with Devlin here at Rating Images and we've just been doing some testing with this gimbal, uh, with this gimbal and it's, it's been amazing. We're really excited to keep advancing this product forward and seeing what we can do with it in the future. Awesome, and how people can find you if you don't want to hire you as a operator? Um, our, our company is, is Wisp Productions, so you can go to wispproductions.com or uh, you, can, uh, you, can con yeah, you can you can email us at info at Wisp uh, Productions. W-I-S-P-P. Thank you, she's, she's my admin girl over here, so she sets up my website. I just do the flying, so. Okay. <laughs> so she's a web developer. And she you're is, the she's my, she's my, she does all my admin. She's, the, she, she's, the the web, she's a web developer. She, she's the all-star over here. I oh, just whatever. fly the drone, so. <laughs> awesome, that's a cute relationship. Okay guys, so I'll put all the link below and see you guys next time.